Getting dressed for work has a whole other meaning for Dr. Peter Kiza. A physician from Uganda, he's treated patients during many Ebola outbreaks, including in West Africa from 2014 to 2016, where 30,000 people were infected. Many layers of personal protective equipment, or PPE, are needed to protect him from infection. But within a hot terrain, the temperatures within these layers can exceed 40 degrees with 100% humidity. So even tasks that you'd normally do, like in a normal setting, become very difficult to do in, in a situation where you are wearing something which is hot, tight, tense, and you cannot freely communicate to the patient. He's now working with Sunnybrook's Dr. Rob Fowler, who led care during the West African Ebola outbreak and is now co-leading a unique study with the Department of National Defence's Defence Research and Development Canada. His team wants to see how hot conditions affect the well-being of healthcare workers and their ability to deliver optimal care to highly infectious patients. So the environmental conditions are enormously important and, and if you're not able to provide uh, sufficient care at hot temperatures in PPE then we have to devise ways to climate control uh, either the individual or the general environment. In this specialized temperature controlled lab at DRDC Toronto Research Centre, researchers are able to simulate the hot and humid conditions of a West African environment. Right now, healthcare workers can provide 30 to 45 minutes of patient care under these conditions before needing about two hours to recover. DRDC's defense scientist Len Goodman says specialized sensors will be used right. to track a number of vital body measurements on study participants. 126 over 80, pulse 101. Skin temperature, uh, body temperature, heart rate, uh, blood pressure. Uh, they'll get their body weight measured in a very precise method so that we can exactly determine how much fluid, how much body fluid through sweating was lost. She was admitted yesterday after being evacuated from the Ebola zone in Sierra Leone. In addition to limiting treatment time, heat strain may cause dehydration and can limit a healthcare worker's thoughts and movements. All this in turn can impact patient care and survival. Dr. Fowler says death rates during Ebola outbreaks can be reduced with proper medical resources and staffing. The results from this study may help inform better PPE design, as well as staffing deployment numbers needed for future outbreaks. The results will also help healthcare workers understand the impact of their environment. Reduce their fears and make them better like handling patients. The study will include about 100 participants and will run into the fall. With Sunnyview, I'm Monica Mattis.